Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and I'm so excited to be stamping with you today. I have this gorgeous card that I want to show you how to create and it is featuring the Arrange a Wreath bundle as well as the Dry Brush Background Stamp. I have to tell you, I have had this stamp for a little while and I hadn't used it and yesterday on my Facebook Live, I had a request from somebody to show how to use it. And now I can't put it down, so <laughs> I really am enjoying it. So let me show you how to put this card together. It's quite easy. We're going to start with a piece of Crumb Cake cardstock that's four by five and a quarter inches. And I want to take my background stamp, and I'm not even mounting it to a block. You certainly can. Um, if if that is easier for you to mount, go right ahead. But I'm just going to take and use this with my crumb cake ink. I'm inking this up, making sure I get good coverage of ink all over my stamp. And then I'm going to place the cardstock onto the stamp. So to do that, um, I'll take another block and then rub my cardstock so that I get a good impression. I'm keeping the cardstock in place as I rub the uh, stamp to the cardstock so that it doesn't move around and smear or anything like that. And then when I pull this off, ta -da! how cool is that? So you can do all kinds of things with this. Um, you can change up the colors, you know, do partial colors. You can emboss it. It's, it's really a Pretty cool stamp, actually. Now, I want to build my wreath onto this background. So I have gone ahead and die cut uh, one of each of the wreath dies, one in vellum and one in crumb cake cardstock. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere them to my card. And it's really easy to do that. I'll take my silicone craft sheet and some liquid glue and then I will use a Stampin' Sponge. I put a little clip on here. You can see it's already got a nice film of uh, adhesive on here. I'm just gonna kind of spread my adhesive out so it's not too gloppy. I'll flip this to the back side of my die cut and then I'll just sponge some glue on here. Now I don't want it to glue 100% down, uh, so I'm not putting a thick coating of glue on every possible surface just a little bit to tack it down to my cardstock. You can see it still sticks up. Some of those branches are not adhered and that's perfect. I'll also take and do the same thing here with my leaves. I'll just put some adhesive around, not everywhere. And then I'll go ahead and tack that down right over the top. And you can kind of align the ring of the two wreaths together. And there we go. Isn't that great? Okay, we'll put this aside. And then next I have die cut my pieces for the flowers. I've got one in Blackberry Bliss, one in Rich Razzleberry, two each in Pumpkin Pie and Pretty Peacock. Okay, and I'm just going to take and offset these to one another with a glue dot to build a little thicker flower. And while if you die cut these in red, you have poinsettias. If you die cut them in another color, you have a pretty flower. <laughs> so I love that. And I'll pop this up onto my card with a dimensional. Next, I will taken kind of you can see I actually need to curl the leaves just a little bit I don't like when things are flat on my card I think they look so much prettier when there's a little more dimension to them so we'll just kind of foof those flowers that looks better already and then I lost a flower there we go okay and I'll kind of do the same thing with these I'll just sort of smoosh them so there's a little more dimension. Of course, we're going to add these to our card with glue dots and then embellish with some wonderful gems. I love those wonderful gems. They're so pretty. 
they add a really nice touch and a little a little bit of sparkle so that's very nice sometimes what's really easy too is to just put your flower on the center of that glue dot and then you can kind of poof it up from there and that adds lots and lots of dimension Okay, so we've added our flowers. Now let's embellish. So I've got my gems and these come with red and clear and then they've got these gold flecks in them. Isn't that cool? It's like there's literally gold in them. I love that. I'm pretty sure they're not actually gold, but in my mind they are. <laughs> Okay, so I'll take a larger one and place it in the center there, and then I'll do some smaller ones on here. I had to stop and actually get another sheet of these because I just finished off my last package of these. I've been using so many, and I love the red ones for Christmas. They're just so pretty. That's actually where these are from is the holiday catalog. Okay, and you can see some of them have a little more gold, like this one, and some have a little bit less. So sometimes um, you might want one or the other on your card. And really what this says is, I care enough to send you an embellishment with actual gold in it. <laughs> All right, so doesn't that look beautiful? There's just a little extra shine to them, I think. All right, now I'm going to put this whole thing onto a card base that is crumb cake as well. And I really like having that extra layer when I use a background stamp because I think it looks really nice on my card like that. It just looks better than if I just did the whole card in the background stamp, in my opinion. Okay. Take some stamp and seal to adhere this to my card. And then we do need to add our sentiment. And I have kind of a nice little trick for that as well. Um, what I'm going to do is take my give thanks from the stamp set as soon as I find it. Here we go. And I'm going to ink this up in early espresso. But I want this to just be a thank you card. It certainly could be a, a Thanksgiving, traditional Thanksgiving card. But it's a little easier or a little more versatile to take the give out of here. So you could cut this out, I suppose. But what I'm going to do is pretty simple. I, um, I'm just going to take one of these flag post-its. And it will fit right here. I'm just going to kind of push it down to make sure I don't catch any of the H. Okay, then what I'll do is take my early espresso ink and ink this up. Now this is the most important part. Remove the post-it. And now you can see only thanks is inked up. And then I'll just stamp this right down here on top. There we go. Now there's one more thing we could do to add to this card. Um, we could add either some spritzing with my Clear Wink of Stella or some heavier spritzing with my Champagne Shimmer Paint. Okay, so Champagne Shimmer Paint, I'll link the video for how to make this um, in the description of this video for you, but this is shimmer paint in rubbing alcohol in a Stampin' Spritzer, and that's gonna give me kind of an even coating of spritz. Then I've got my Clear Wink Estella brush, and I'm just gonna tap them to get little speckles. So I'm gonna do one on one card and then the other on the other card, and we do have to add a bow as well. So I'm gonna start with the spritzing, and then you can tell me in the comments of the video which way you like it better. Okay, so I've got my Clear Wink Estella. I just need something to smack it against. <laughs> and you want to kind of keep your work surface clear. You don't want things out that you don't want to get speckles in because you can't really control this super well. Okay, so I've just done some spritzing and then 
There's little bits of shimmer on my card. It's not too overpowering. Okay. And then on this card, we're going to do the champagne mist. So I just want to give this a good shake. I like to make sure that whatever is settled at the bottom is no longer there. So it's mixed in to the rest. Um, and also I make sure there's no crusties on the spritzy part. There usually aren't though. This is pretty good. I'm going to spritz this from about 15 to 24 inches away. And just a couple spritzes and you can see there's lots more shimmer on here. Now we're going to give it a second to dry. Uh, the rubbing alcohol dries really quickly, which is wonderful. And then we're also going to add a bow of my lace trim to this. Oh, look, I have a little piece left over. So I'll just tie a bow and then we'll adhere this to the top of our card. But this is such a pretty, I like this little lace touch. To my card. I'm going to tie that one more time. I'm actually going to flip the ribbon so that the lace trim is on the same side on both sides of the bow. The scallop, I should say. Okay. And I'll put that up top. I'm actually going to use a little bit of my Seal Plus because I think that will adhere a little better. This is strong adhesive, which I love. And then we'll just trim these ends a little bit. So I'll show you both, and then you can tell me which version of this you like best. Do you like, there we go, the sh all over shimmer, lots of shimmer? or the little bit more subtle shimmer. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. I hope you loved this video. Two things, I've got an online class featuring this bundle of products. That's a really amazing class. I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. And of course, if you need to purchase any of the supplies to make these projects, I'd really appreciate your business. You can shop my online store and all the supplies that I used are linked below. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.